video for exercise 2.1. Um, I'm going to go to my title block and right away I'm going to delete that and I'm going to save this as 2.1, chapter 2.1. Back to model space. I've already drawn this but I'm going to kind of leave it here to kind of give you an idea of what the finished product is going to be. I'll show you how to draw this and then you guys are going to transfer the lines up and transfer the lines over to get the top view and also the right side view. I'm looking at this and here I have a one inch and a two inch diameter circle and my units are in inches so right away we're going to go here drawing utilities units make sure you're in inches and I need two places to the right so get all of that like this hit OK go to format dimension style modify go to primary units make sure it's set it to here hit OK close it I'm gonna go here and get a circle diameter I'm gonna let me just change to my object object layer and start over. So circle diameter and the first one's going to be one. Space bar, go back. Second one's going to be two. I think I hit the wrong one, wait. Center diameter two and if you look out here they give you the center mark here and the radius is three so I'm gonna go center radius three enter and they also tell you that this is one inch so so the distance between each one of these is a half inch going this way and a half inch going that way so I have a three inch radius I'm gonna go back circle radius and I'm gonna go 2.5 on this side and I'm gonna go center radius because that was 3 I'm gonna go 3.5 on that side and there's a couple more we need to put here but I'm gonna wait I'm gonna just draw that center line over get another line take ortho off if you have it on and you want this dynamic input which is right here and we don't care about the length of the line we just want that to be 40 degrees just click it okay now I'm going to create a circle two point circle there and a two-point circle here oh try that again try it again two point one two okay now I'm gonna trim some of these lines off that I don't need I'm gonna click those two circles by left clicking then right click and take those off okay now I need another circle with a radius of one so I'm gonna double that or I can just use center radius make it one space bar one enter I'm going to come out here radius and I'm just going to take it over to there hit my space bar go back to the same center come out to the snap see how it's snapping to that point click that now I'm going to use trim left click the two larger circles come out here and right click 
get rid of those. Now we want to create what I call like a racetrack in here. I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to go to trim. And I want to get rid of, I'm going to go select these four, then right click, get rid of these. Then I can just come in here and erase those. And I can go back to trim, choose this one and that one, right click, left click, left click, hit escape. And I can also, for right now, I'm going to trim off this other circle we don't need here. And I'm going to match properties. Just go over, if you got a, another drawing, just click center line, click that, and that. Those are our center lines. Hit escape. Okay, now, a little tricky part here. Um... We're going to go, let's look at this a minute. Start in radius. I think let's use start in radius. Let me show you something else first. Make sure you have your, go to tools, toolbar. AutoCAD, make sure you have Object Snap here, and also check Geometric Constraints. Have those two toolbars. Again, Tools, Toolbar, AutoCAD, Check Geometric Constraint, and Object Snap. And Let me check one thing here. Let's go to circle, tangent, tangent, radius. Specify point of first tangent. Specify second point. Radius is going to be 3, enter, and then we can come up here, again, I just use start in radius, came over, pick the tangent point, pick a tangent point here, and then type in the radius of 3. You can go to trim, trim those off, hit escape. Now. Go to arc, start in radius, let's see if I can go to tangent snap, oh, let me try that again, start in radius, oh, back up. Trying to pick a tangent spot here. Wrong one. One, two, it's not working for me. Hold on. Hitting the wrong. Let me pause this one. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, we want this one. Tangent snap. One. 
go back up here, tangent snap 2, and type in the radius 5. Enter. Now come up here, go to tangent, choose this line and the arc, and also tangent, it should be okay. And you got to come in, zoom in on this, and go up here to extend. Choose this circle, this circle, right click, click the end of the line, and it makes it tangent. Okay, there you have that one. Let me just check this one, make sure. Extend. Okay. Now, just come up here. If something's not tangent, just click this, click the circle, and then the arc. And that's pretty much um, the same thing here. Now, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and create the top view and the right side view and do all the dimensions. Remember, you got to come here. And a lot of these you can, you're going to go like radiuses and like how big that is. Remember, just go to Format, Dimension Style, Modify, go to Text, and if you're at 3, try 1. And whatever you do here, go to Symbols and Arrows and try 1. Go back, just take a look at it. That's still too big. So go back, Format, Dimension Style. Modify, try point 0.1, text, point 0.1. It's just trial and error till you get the right size. That looks pretty good right there. So you're going to come in here and you're going to create a lot of these radiuses. Just give me all the dimensions. Remember, now this is being a round surface. The overall height is not going to really do you any good. So just give me the radiuses, the angles, and if you have any questions, just uh, give me a holler. Just kind of take a look at this, and you see how you transfer your lines up to get your top view. And you're going to do the same thing, transfer your lines over, trim them off, put all your hidden lines and your center lines, and just have a a reference right here to go back and finish your part.